Uh, but now, the comedy hit Motherland is back for a Christmas special tomorrow night. And I'm afraid there's set to be a big fallout over presents. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? You tell it? she loves it. Yeah, it's, just, it's it. just wonderful. It's wonderful to see. I'm now joined by Motherland's very unimpressed Meg, <laughs> actor Tanya Moody. I mean, how many times do you have to do those scenes to keep it, like... Cos you must just corpse a lot, you know, you must giggle a lot. Yeah, but at the same time, it's we have such a finite amount of time to film it. it really? It moves so quickly. So you, you, you kind of, you, you can't spend too much time just enjoying the writing and the ridiculousness of the situation. You've got, which is hard sometimes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Because sometimes you're just like... You want to revel in it, you know? Yeah, we do, we do tend to corpse quite often, you know, just break down in giggles. It's brilliant. And are there bits, because you have a daughter in real I life. I do, I do in have a 15-year-old, yeah. Because I think this is the joy of the show, is that it cuts so close to the bone, you go, oh, I've, I've reacted like that to my own kids. Oh, you know, like, I felt that awkward. And there's a brilliant scene, I think, in the first one where... Um, where the kids have to go to a birthday party, but it's a swimming party, and then they expect the parents to get in the pool, <laughs> and you're like, no, thank you, and you've got to, like, rip to smile. Yeah. And then, did it resonate with you? Which bits of it you were like, oh, I remember this? Well, it did, but I think also it does have a universal appeal, so lots of people who don't have kids and don't even want to have kids, I think, <laughs> They might really not relate have to watching it. it. <laughs> exactly, and I think that it's, like, it's the fact that there's this group of people that have been brought together in these really kind of artificial circumstances and that they all have the kids at the same school, they all meet at the school gate, and then suddenly they're a group group of mates and I think you know, even if you don't have kids that's the same like in a workplace yes you're you know, thrown together you're thrown together then suddenly it's like oh these are my mates now and what's brilliant I think about your character is that you you start off by being the sort of wonder woman the sort of the <laughs> one who glides around you've got is if you've got five kids in this show yes because I've got I've got three with Bill my partner, and he had two with his ex. -wife. So Anthony Head, who plays oh the gorgeous I mean, Anthony Head. What I can't, I can't imagine. When they, when did they tell you you're going, you got the part, and, yeah, and you're going to be playing with the absolute I know. legend? I think it was before we started filming. They said, and of course I was really excited. And he's like, he's the nicest, nicest, most beautiful man on the planet. He's so kind and sweet. Oh. And then the very first day of filming that I did ever. Um, that's when we had to kiss. You're joking. <laughs> yeah. And it was just like a kind of, you know, it wasn't like a mass passionate kiss. Yeah. But we did it and the director kept saying, um, no, dude, again, can it be a bit longer? And I think she wasn't joking. It's just she kind of wanted her to be... Because she were trying to make Julia feel a bit jealous and a bit like, oh, they're sickening. So I had to the kiss Julia's one of the other moms. Exactly. Yeah, 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 because so, you're such a perfect couple. Exactly, and they live directly across the street, so she could see us through the window. OK, so I'm going to ask you, like, you're obviously playing the character. Then at this very moment, are you thinking, I'm kissing Anthony Head? Of course I was! <laughs> I mean, Wouldn't he was, you? Wasn't he, in Buffy? <laughs> he was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, wasn't he? Absolutely. Like, I mean, he's like... Iconic. Me, iconic. He's an idol and he's so sweet. It's and he was very brilliant. patient. It's like, we've got, we've got to kiss again. So you've got Sorry. this special, this Christmas special coming out, which I think is just, it's what is genius. And it's not just... It's on BBC One, isn't it, I think, now? Yeah. Um, this thing about getting the hat, it's just so... It, what does it make your character think? Like, where does... She's like... What on earth? Is this, like, a random, like, last-minute decision? Yeah, well, you know, I think a lot of people rel will relate to that in long-term relationships. Yeah, It's very... You know, I've been in a long-term relationship. It's very hard to know what my partner wants. It's very hard for him to know what I want. And you get to a point where you're slightly past caring, not in a negative way, but it's like, <laughs> well... You, we can buy things for ourselves. You know, we're big people. If you really want something, you tend to buy it for yourself. I usually get angry with my partner because he, he'll he buy things up to, like, the end of November for himself. I'll go, oh, look, I got this thing, and I'm like, don't you don't you want anything for Christmas? As in he's done it all for himself. Yeah, like, he's why not didn't left you, you any room. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I usually I tell both him and my daughter, send me a list. So about two months before Christmas, I'm like, you need to start texting me your list now what you want. Yes. Because I don't like guessing. No, Otherwise exactly. Otherwise, you get this situation of And it's that feeling tax. of, like, not wanting to act underwhelmed or unappreciative, but at the same time just going, how no, well do you I even have, know me? I have the worst poker face. <laughs> Terrible! I don't... I just don't pretend. If I, I don't like it, I'm just like... You know, why, why would you do this to me? You hate me. You it's, hate me. It, it's absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely wonderful to have you in. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Yeah. And I hope you don't need a poker face when you get your Christmas present it's from gonna, your partner. I bought most of them myself for me, so it's going to be great. Like most women have to. Thank you so much. Uh, now, the Motherland Christmas special is on BBC One tomorrow night at 9.30pm.